Hey guys, this is App Reviewer. Today we'll be taking a look at the 4000 mAh battery for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now this one right here is for the GSM model and retails for $100. They do sell an LTE version however and it retails for the same exact price and it only has 100 less milliamp hours. So they're basically the same exact form factor and everything, just the only difference is the rating of the milliamp hours. Now what I want to do first is just unbox this and show you what you get within it. And then we'll talk about the performance of the battery. So we'll crack open into the packaging and you can see two things. You'll get the battery and the back cover itself. So first of all, I want to take a look at the back cover. Now you can see it has a slight hyperskin texture on it. And I'll bring over the stock back cover just so you can compare. I say slight because it's not exactly the same texture, but it's very comfortable nonetheless. And it has a nice grip on it. So this will provide really nice grip, feels great in the hand, and it's very comfortable. Now this is one of the things I hate about this back cover, it's absolutely terrible, is a kickstand. It's just a cheap little plastic kickstand, but the hinge mechanism right here is just so bad. So you can see whenever I flip it, it comes out every time. And the reason that happens is just because the hinge is super loose right here. So I've actually been using this with a piece of tape that I took off for the video. So I would just place it right over there and just use it. It doesn't look very nice, but it just keeps that kickstand in there. So it's a terrible kickstand. The only real benefit is using it in a viewing mode. So as you can see, if you pop it out, you can place the back cover like that and watch a movie. But I really wish they would have omitted this because it's just super loose and terrible. Now you can see your cutouts for the camera and the flash and on the inside you have those hinges. Taking a look at the battery, you can see it is pretty chunky and it's rated at 4,000 milliamp hour batteries. Quickly, I want to compare this to the stock and 2,000 milliamp hour batteries so you can see the thickness difference. Now here we've got the stock, the 2,000 and the 4,000. So in comparison with the 2,000, you can see it's about two times as thick and in comparison to the stock, it's about three times as thick. So it's definitely a chunky battery, but it does have some good juice in it. So what I want to do now is just put the battery and the back cover on the phone and show you exactly how thick it is and how it fits. So we're going to pop off this stock back cover and then install the battery. You do it like you would any other through the top. Make sure the prongs are aligned. And then for the extended back cover, you just work your way from the bottom and snap it in. And actually fits perfectly on it. That was pretty surprising because I had some issues with the Nexus S case. Now, as you can see, once again, that slight texture on it feels great in the hand. From a side profile, you can see that adds about twice as much thickness as the Galaxy Nexus when it's naked. Now, a lot of you will say this is a monster, this is a hideous case, but it's really not. It does look a little bit different and out of place, but it's super comfortable. It gives it a nice heavy feel, nice solid feel, but it's not uncomfortable whatsoever. The grip on the back is nice. You can hold it with ease. And like I said, the only issue I have is the kickstand. As you can see, when I flip it back, it just pops out of place, which is terrible. But like I mentioned before, you can stand this up in a viewing angle to watch movies or do whatever you want. Now, you can see right here, you've got your cutouts for the camera and the flash. No problems with that. It is a little bit recessed, but like I said, no issues with it. You can still take pictures and video just fine. Right up here, you've got a small cutout for your secondary microphone. That works fine as well. And if you do want to remove it, it's very easy. You can just pry it off through this notch right here, and it comes off cleanly. So now let's talk about the battery's performance, which is the main reason why you pick up an extended battery. Either you're not currently happy with your current battery life, or you just want something for hiking or long day trips where you won't have access to power, and you want something that'll last long. Now what I do to compare my batteries is I run a standardized test that I've used since the Nexus S and the Galaxy S2 days. So what I do in this case is I'm comparing the 2000 mAh battery to the 4000, and my test consists of turning on the screen to full brightness, turning on GPS, turning on Wi-Fi, then going under navigation, navigating to Dallas, Texas, and then just leaving the phone idle with a stopwatch next to it. What I do is I let it run from 100% charge to 1% and I see the amount of time it takes to do that. Now in theory, the 4000 mAh battery should last exactly twice as much time as the 2000 because it has twice as much capacity. Now, in a perfect world, that's what would happen. In this case, it did not, which was very surprising to me. So the 2000 milliamp hour battery actually lasted for three hours and 56 minutes, which is about 236 total minutes. Now in theory, the 4000 milliamp hour battery should have lasted for a little bit less than eight hours. It did not. It actually lasted for six hours and 44 minutes. So it fell short of that theoretical spot by about an hour and 15 minutes, which was pretty disappointing, but I wasn't surprised to be honest, because I know the real rating of these batteries is never as high as they say they are. So now that you know this, the choice is really yours. I probably wouldn't buy or recommend this product to anyone at $100 because I think it's too much to pay for what you're getting. 
Now, I know there's a lot of people who are still interested in extended batteries, and there's four choices for them. You can either get a cheap eBay battery, a Hyperion battery, a Sedio battery, and a Mugen Power battery. For those people, I would recommend the Mugen Power battery because it's the highest quality of them all. Now, the back cover, like I mentioned, is fantastic. The only major issue that pretty much kills it is the stand right here. If you're fine with a piece of tape on it, you'll have no problems with it. The battery itself works fine. It lasts a long time. I used it for two heavy days in New York City. But the only issue I have with it is that it doesn't reach that claim of 4,000 milliamp hour batteries. I wouldn't like to buy a product that's claimed at 4,000 and it's really only 3,500. So that's the reason why I have to knock the product. The battery isn't bad. It still lasts a while. It's just it doesn't reach my expectations. Now, if you do want to pick up this battery, you can do so for $100. Like I mentioned, it does have NFC in it and they have an LTE model. And you can pick it up on the Mugen Power website, which is mugen-power-batteries.com. Like I said, it's $100. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more. Cheers.